All right, stretching your dollar tonight, a viewer with his car lease about to end asked WTOL 11 if he should trade in his lease from 2021 early for a new agreement in 2023. Dan Cummins spoke to a financial advisor with an important lesson in borrowing and taking on new debt. Dan? Well, this is not good news, Jeff. Interest rates for cars are a lot different today than they were in 2021. We're talking almost double, and that could end up costing you hundreds of dollars with the new lease. The current cost of borrowing for a new car is 7.5%, depending on your credit rating. In 2021, that same rate for car loans is just 3.85%, nearly doubled in two years with the Fed showing no indications that borrowing rates might be lowered. If you have a decent rate, you know, something that's low, something like a one, two, three percent rate, and it, you see another car and it's like attractive and it's fun and the idea of having it is cool. Um, but the interest rate attached to that is five, six, seven or more. It might not be a smart idea because you're going to be spending a lot more money in the long run. In this scenario, experts say trading in a lease from 2021 at that previous borrowing rate for a newer car with a much higher rate is not the best decision financially. While this viewer might be in a brand new car, they'll be paying a lot more in interest. Stretching your dollar, I'm Dan Cummings.